Weight loss, weight gain, a too close shave? You've seen them on the field and the court, but chances are you wouldn't recognize these athletes on the street. Hailing from Romania, Simona Halep was a phenomenal tennis player, holding her own against the best in the world while she was still a teenager. There was just one problem. The athlete's sizable bust was always getting in the way and weighing her down. At the age of 17, she decided that she was going to get breast reduction surgery, telling news.com.au, It's the weight that troubles me, my ability to react quickly, my breasts make me uncomfortable when I play. Dropping from a 32 double D to a more manageable 34 C, Halep quickly found herself climbing up the tennis ranks. She made her way into the top 10 in 2014 and won the Women's Tennis Association's Most Improved Player. She went on to face off in final matches against Maria Sharapova and Serena Williams, and dominated the field in 2017, becoming the world's number one female tennis player. Lenny Nails Dykstra was one of the toughest people to ever swing a bat, but it's taken a toll. Court filings claim the outfielder abused a daily cocktail of Dexedrine, Adderall, and Vicodin for decades, often with a liter of vodka, and he's faced many legal troubles since. In 2011 alone, he was arrested for grand theft auto, possession of narcotics, bankruptcy fraud, and indecent exposure. Unsurprisingly, he soon found himself behind bars. Sadly, Dykstra's troubles didn't end there. Speaking with Howard Stern, Dykstra recalled that while incarcerated, guards used to mock him by singing, Take Me Out to the Ball Game. One day, he snapped and screamed at them to shut up. In response, the angered guards allegedly beat him viciously, knocking his teeth out in the process. I got assaulted by... You know, the deputies, they all got arrested, though. Dexter eventually filed suit against several sheriff's employees, claiming he was beaten to the point he was barely breathing. A sheriff's spokesman, Steve Whitmore, admitted the fight happened, but claimed Dykstra started it and had to be physically restrained. Since his 2013 release, Dykstra has continued on an unconventional path for a pro athlete, even claiming he acted as a paid escort at times. However, as he documented in his web series, Nails Revealed, he did get those teeth replaced. Olympic gymnast Michaela Moroni didn't plan on becoming a meme, but her reaction to receiving the silver medal at the 2012 Olympics was just too picturesque not to trend. In the years since Moroni's sour face made the rounds online, she has sought out new challenges. She has pursued a love for singing and seemingly has a desire to break the internet with a new look that has left fans scratching their heads. The wholesome All-American Olympian fans came to know is long gone. She's been replaced by an Instagram influencer with an edgy new aesthetic. Her change has been so drastic that some folks have even accused her of having plastic surgery, which she's denied. In the face of the scrutiny, Maroney would have the last laugh. In response to the backlash some of her posts have received, she tweeted, I'm just doing me. If you want me to be a role model so bad, get inspired by how I give zero f**ks and go do you. Not everyone's going to like you, but if you stay true to yourself, they might just respect you. Being a pro athlete doesn't necessarily mean you're the picture of perfect health, and that was undeniably the case for David Carter. While Carter could bang away with other players on the football field, he struggled with basic tasks like lifting himself out of his own bathtub. Speaking with Sports Illustrated, the NFL player explained that the problem was his diet, which consisted of large amounts of meat and fast food. That's when he came across the documentary Forks Over Knives and rethought his entire life. The film claims that almost any disease can be controlled or even reversed by adopting a vegan diet. It had a marked effect on Carter, who recalled, I was drinking a milkshake while I was watching the documentary and poured it out. He took the documentary's message seriously and went vegan. He soon became something of a unicorn in the NFL and lost 40 pounds in six weeks thanks to his eating habits. Since retiring, he's become an activist, focusing his energy on teaching minority communities about healthy plant-based eating. His new physique has even introduced him to a new line of work. In addition to his activism, Carter has also earned some extra coin as a model. Remember that time Homer Simpson shaved on The Simpsons and something just felt off about it? Well, the same thing once happened to former big leaguer and Blackbeard enthusiast Brian Wilson. The quirky reliever was a Giants fan favorite thanks to his smoking fastball, bizarre behavior, and World Series pedigree. So when he went and cut off his trademark whiskers, it just didn't feel right in the eyes of many fans. For years, Wilson was the face of the Giants clubhouse, with his black-dyed, bushy beard and matching mohawk. But as of 2017, when he was training for a comeback in the big leagues, he went clean-shaven and completely unrecognized. It wasn't like a big deal. I mean, it was a big deal because I was like, holy crap, that's my face. <laughs> and that's not the only difference. Since his fastball speed has waned a bit over the years, he began upping his delivery and attempting to become more of a knuckleballer. So if you ever see a smooth-faced hurler with a ball bouncing off home plate, you might be watching this new version of Wilson. 
In the history of the NHL, no hockey player has faced more scrutiny for his weight than left-wing legend Keith Kachuk. At first, the only thing anyone cared about was his shots, and he scored 41 goals in his second full NHL season. And that was just the start. During the 1996-97 season, he led the league in goals scored, becoming the first American-born player to accomplish the feat. He would go on to score 538 goals and become one of the less than 100 American players to score 1,000 points. In the later stage of his career, his weight began to take center stage. He returned from the 2004 2005 lockout with the pounds packed on and struggled to keep them off the rest of his career. These days, he spends his time cheering on his hockey-playing sons, which requires a slightly less vigorous fitness routine. After facing so much grief for his weight in past years, it seems only sensible that he would rather just kick back and enjoy life a little now that his days as a star athlete are behind him. Daniel Marshall is one of six NBA players to have 10,000 points, 5,000 rebounds, 750 blocks, and 750 three-pointers in a career. Since retiring, he's shown the same competitive spirit, stalking the sidelines as a coach and assistant coach, most recently at Central Connecticut State University, where he coached until 2021. I started thinking early what I wanted to do, and uh, you know, I started coaching my AAU team, and I, I felt the connection there. Despite his illustrious career, he never takes himself too seriously. When a reporter from the Buffalo News once asked him about the stereotype that great players don't make great coaches, he responded, That's funny, because I always sit back and say, it's a good thing I wasn't a great player. Sadly, amid the turbulent environment a career in basketball invites, Marshall began to appear to age rapidly. Facial features, such as the area beneath his eyes, seem to have distorted. And while there were plenty of rumors circulating online, Marshall hasn't come out and announced any health struggle he may be facing. Can you ever remember a time when a younger Brian Urlacher wasn't bald? Throughout his 13 seasons and 182 games with the Chicago Bears, during which he set a laundry list of records, it's hard to pin down an image where there's even a little hair sticking out of his helmet. Truth be told, he did have a tight do when he first came into the league back at the turn of the century, but it quickly went from short to fully shorn as his hair receded to his renowned chrome dome. So many folks were shocked in 2016 when the former monster of the midway seemingly found a solution to his baldness and showed up with a full head of glorious hair. Urlacher told Dan Patrick that he sat for an eight-hour surgery with a group of doctors who carefully took follicles from the back of his head and placed them on top. That's right, after one long day with the docs, Urlacher went from bald to bountiful, and he's been showing off his luscious locks ever since. Zdrunas Zaviskas, otherwise known as Big Z, is a legend in the strongman world. He's the only powerlifter to have won every major modern competition and held the world record in the log lift for 16 years. But despite these accolades, Big Z wasn't always a picture of perfect health. Sure, he could deadlift a car, but he never could get rid of those pesky love handles. That all changed back in 2017, when he adopted the diet plan of his buddy and fellow strongman Thor Bjornsson. Big Z would still eat approximately 13 pounds of food a day, but he strategically switched what he consumed to lean protein, clean carbs, and lots of colorful veggies. The results speak for themselves. Zaviskas is now all muscle. The fat melted away, meaning he'll be powerlifting cars, logs, and whatever else he feels like for years to come. NBA power forward and center Tim Duncan was a superstar for his entire 19-season career. The Rookie of the Year honoree was later named the league's most valuable player twice, appeared on 15 All-Star teams, and led the San Antonio Spurs to five championships. As great as Duncan was, he was never flashy, taking the court with a business-like attitude and an unremarkable sense of style. He proudly wore short, closely cropped hair with an occasional patch of hair on his chin and earned the nickname The Big Fundamental and The Stone Buddha in response to his consummate professionalism. After he retired from the NBA in 2016, Duncan began to express himself publicly like never before. A few months into his non-playing days, Duncan got a multi-part tattoo covering half of his back. In 2019, Duncan began sporting a patchy beard and some short dreadlocks. By 2023, the facial hair had filled out and grayed, and Duncan had grown out the dreads. One of the most dominant pitchers in Major League Baseball in the 2000s and 2010s, CC Sabathia put up impressive stats and received lots of accolades. Recording more than 250 wins and more than 3,000 strikeouts, he's a six-time All-Star, a World Series champion, and a Cy Young Award winner. By 2010, the year he compiled a career-best 21-7 record, the 290-pound pitcher was one of the heaviest players in Major League history. A few years later, Sabathia posted to Instagram some pictures of himself attending a wedding, and he seemed to have lost a considerable amount of weight over the baseball offseason. When asked about the change, Sabathia denied dropping any pounds, saying, I'm actually the same weight as I was last year, just a little more toned and a lot more strong. This is the first offseason I was able to weight train and get stronger and not worry about weight loss. In an interview with Men's Health, he credited much of this change to altering his diet. Most of the time during the baseball season, I would skip breakfast and that would, you know, start my bad eating habits right there. 
After leading his Akron, Ohio high school to three state championships and one national title, LeBron James was drafted number one overall by the Cleveland Cavaliers. James began his Rookie of the Year winning season a couple months shy of his 19th birthday. He'd eventually be considered one of the best to ever play basketball throughout a storied career that includes four MVP awards, four NBA championships, 20 All-Star game appearances, and the number one spot on the league's all-time scoring list. Across his 21-plus years in the NBA, James' net worth has grown and his appearance has changed. Where he was once thin and wiry as a rookie, James put on around 40 pounds of muscle. He also sports a bushy chin beard now, which acts as a time capsule for his changing appearance, as it gradually sports more and more gray hairs. For Todd Marinovich, washing out of the NFL was just the beginning of his rough ride. The hard-throwing QB played two seasons for the Bad Boy Raiders, but the rigid lifestyle of a professional athlete failed to keep his notorious drug use in check. According to the ESPN documentary The Marinovich Project, the QB got around drug testing by using his friend's urine, but even that plan went awry when he borrowed some from a pal who'd apparently gotten drunk the night before. During his brief tenure in the league, his drug abuse grew from marijuana and cocaine to amphetamines and LSD. The brain-altering nature of the acid made it hard for him to focus and he soon washed out of the league. Years of run-ins with the law followed and he was arrested for everything from sexual assault to walking naked through a neighborhood with a bag of weed. Back in 2017, at the ripe age of 48, Marinovich found himself attempting a comeback with the SoCal Coyotes of the World Developmental Football League. By then, he was clean and sober thanks to some time in rehab and he told the Desert Sun, Recovery has changed every aspect of my life and made it better, so why wouldn't that carry over to the football field? If you or anyone you know needs help with addiction issues, visit the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration website or contact SAMHSA's National Helpline at 1-800-662-HELP-4357.